topographical model of the countryside, which enables me to explain the situation before the liberation of the town. On it, we show not only the proximate front line, but also the movement of the attacking troops. This is shown with the help of coloured lights, a different colour for each unit. Um, the chapel is shown here in the small model and here is the town centre approximately a mile and a half away. With, with this model, I can provide a pretty satisfying illustrated talk of how the, the final phase for the Battle of St. Lo took place together with the units involved on both sides, the GI units as well as the defending Germans units.